Ich weiß jetzt nicht warum, aber Ubisoft hatte wir auch verhangen. Ton hatten wir eigentlich noch zum Schluss. Ich weiß jetzt nicht, wie weit die Aufnahme ist. Aber ich mache mal einfach erst eine Weise. Yes. Theoretically speaking, it is possible to do this. But I'm struggling to imagine the kind of person who would dare go through with it. The Traveler comes from a world beyond to that. That's why there's no information about him in Ermansoul, and it also explains why any changes to Ermansoul wouldn't affect him. So if there's anyone in the world capable of retaining memories from a past that has been rewritten, it's you. It's quite incredible when you think about it. Paimon's having a hard time understanding this Balladeer guy's motivations. Why did he do it? I can only make inferences based on the information we've been given. As for what kind of person he was, only you remember that. Ich bin mir nicht sicher. Ich und Skaramusche waren schon immer Feinde, was ihn dazu bewegt, diese Dinge zu tun, warum er so skrupellos ist, das verstehe ich nicht. Wenn er das sagt. Alles von vorn anfängt, jemand retten oder will er sich vollkommen selbst verleugnen. Glücklicherweise kann das alles wieder richtig gestellt werden. Ich habe eine endgültige und korrekte Lösung dafür und darauf läuft es schließlich hinaus. Ich erinnere mich äh, noch an die letzte Frage, bevor er angefangen hatte. Er hatte sie mir gestellt und mein Zögern hatte ihm die Antwort verraten. Ich hatte gezögert, weil ich mit eigenen Augen gesehen hatte, wie die höhere Herren Kuro Kativate ihre eigene Existenz ausgelöscht hat. Aber das konnte, na, das konnte ich Herrn Heda nicht sagen. Kurz gesagt, warum Skarmosche so entschlossen gehandelt hat, darf ich nicht aussprechen. Something else worrying you? Something that you can't share? Er hat etwas völlig Verrücktes getan, aber am Ende... Right? Yeah. Once the Balladeer realized he hadn't been betrayed after all, it must have completely changed his view of the people of Tatarasuna. Now he saw them as friends again. He couldn't keep hating humans after that. And if he thought there was a chance he could save his old friends, it would be hard not to try. The story makes sense. Every part of it. The Balladeer tried to achieve godhood with the doctor's help. He was unsuccessful, but retained the power to connect with Ermansoul. That power then enabled him to change what was recorded in Ermansoul and erase himself, even though he didn't have much strength left. Yeah, it does make sense, but it still ended in tragedy for his friends. It just feels so hopeless. He gave everything to do this, but it seems like he got nothing in return. Ja, am Ende wurde dafür sogar die Welt verändert. Die Verstorbenen haben keine zweite Chance bekommen und für diese gequält Leben gab es auch keine Erlösung. Gegen was hat er eigentlich versucht anzukämpfen, dagegen verraten zu werden oder die Existenz selbst war schon ein Fehler? Please wait a moment. I want to check something. Hmm. Found it. This should be the one. It turns out that I have a strange way of confirming everything he has told us. What is it? A record from a personal collection. It was tucked away in a corner. You should take a look. Is this a fairy tale? Who wrote it? The handlung deckt sich mit meinen Aussagen. I authored this record myself. Huh? You wrote a fairy tale that somehow has something to do with the balladeer? When combined with the traveler's narrative, it's clear that this story is an allegory. Everything in it is a symbol for something else. Hold on. So this record survived from... the... past past? Yes. 
Any information about the Balladeer or the Kabuki Mono and other records will have been changed. But I wrote this story in a way that means it was left intact. Changing the information in Ermansoul changes to that. But Ermansoul can't change information that was well hidden in advance. I guess I must have written this story as a backup before the Balladeer entered Ermansoul. That's incredible! What a great idea! And sending the Traveler into Ermansoul with the Balladeer must have been a further precaution. I knew he'd remember everything. This story is abstract enough that it still resonates with the present information recorded in Ermansoul. But if we connect all the different pieces together, the true story that emerges is the one he told us. The now erased life of the Balladeer. There was once a lone monster draped in fox fur. The monster found a family of foxes, joined them, and they became friends. The mon once in a while, the monster would take off its fox fur at night and lament to itself as it gazed at its reflection in the water. I am a monstrosity, yet they are too foolish to see it. I pity them. Woman. Monster. Lass mich nicht ausbrechen, halt dir gut zeichnen. Und die verstoßen. But the monster soon found solace when another came to live among the foxes who was not their kin. A kitten. Carved from the wood of a white tree, who had been abandoned by the humans. The kitten too wished to become a fox, but its tail was too slender, and it could not grow a coat of richly colored fur. Yet when the other foxes saw this, they spoke words of comfort to the kitten. Even without a tail and fur like ours, you are still one of us. Furious at this happy resolution, the monster lit a fire on the mountain. The terrified animals panicked as the fire spread. The only way to extinguish the flames was to make a sacrifice. A gray fox stood up and addressed the monster. It said, You are the cleverest among us. Surely you can help us find a way to solve this? The monster smiled, led the fox toward the fire, and murdered it. The gray fox's heart was turned into a beautiful drop of water, clear, spotless, and pure. The monster gave the heart of water to the kitten, telling him, the foxes have decided. You are the one who must be sacrificed. Take this, quench the flames, and die for your fox kin. The fire was extinguished, but the kitten lived. It left that side of the mountain and found a little bird who had a broken wing. The two promised they would spend their whole lives together, but the little bird did not have long left to live. It passed away soon after. After burying the bird, the kitten left the mountain for good. Never again would it cherish a single creature, nor a single blade of grass that stood on that mountain. The kitten spent the nights wandering aimlessly, gnashing its teeth at the moon. How it wished to swallow the moon and devour the moonlight. If the world could only return to darkness, then it would finally be peaceful and content. I will become the new moon, the answer to everything. Then, no one will know that there were once birds, foxes, and cats in this world. And no one can know that they were different. This is not 
not just the Balladeer story. It is his very own memories. I made a backup so that it would be preserved no matter what happened. To become a god, he was experimented on and modified countless times. It was brutal torture, and the only reason he was able to survive is that he was a puppet. This memory was extracted from him by the scholars. Presumably, they kept it to have something to defend themselves with. Creating a deity was just the first step. Some of them wanted to be able to control it. That's why they backed up his memory for later use. I buried it deep inside one of my own dreams, and then hid it inside an allegorical story so that it wouldn't be altered. It's hard to believe that this person really existed, let alone that he tried to get rid of us on more than one occasion. Paimon has no memory of him at all. He completely vanished like a puff of smoke. The Balladeer agreed to help me look for information about the Descenders, and although he was unsuccessful, he still helped you. Before he vanished, he confirmed an important detail that Conria was where your twin first came into this world. We still don't know how the change to Erminsoul will affect the senior ranks of the Fatui, but in all likelihood, they won't even remember their own harbinger. Dass das Leben weniger wiegt als eine Feder. It sounds like Paimon wouldn't like this guy a whole lot if he was still around. But still, Paimon doesn't like the way it all ended that much better. This is why wisdom alone cannot answer all our questions. We look, we see, and we comprehend. But the question still troubles us. So the answer is not everything. People yearn to find the truth, and then conquer the troubles they face. When you give someone the truth, you give them a chance to choose their own destiny. To others looking on, this may seem like a pointless endeavor, but for him, the chance to act on his desire to disappear must have meant a lot. Never forget that even when we walk beneath dark clouds along a road filled with suffering, the light of wisdom is always there, guiding us toward a better destination. And that is what you have been doing all along. Yeah, Mahid is right. Cheer up! How about we go get something to eat? We can pick up this heavy conversation again later. Good idea. Paimon, why don't you take him out for a walk to clear his head? You got it! Come on, Traveler! You need to get out of your head for a while. You'll feel much better after taking a walk. Let's go get a snack for one of the stalls in the Grand Bazaar! That'll be sure to lift our spirits! It must be really tough being the only one who remembers all that. But Paimon's always here to help cheer you up. <laughs>